guys, happy Thursday. Today I have a drawing request from one of my students, Nayeli, and she was asking if I could show you guys how to draw a panda bear. And I love that idea because I think pandas are so cute, they're really fun to draw. They're really interesting animals too. They eat bamboo, which is what he's holding right here, and they actually pretty much only eat this. This is the only thing that they will eat, so they're very picky eaters. Bamboo is kind of a plant that grows really tall. It's hollow inside and there's water in it and it has leaves. So that is what the panda likes to eat, so that's why my panda is holding that. I'm going to show you all the steps to make it, and you can start with pencil, you can start with marker. It's totally up to you on this one, and you can grab whatever colors you want. But let's go ahead and let's get started. All right, so the first thing we're going to do is draw a big oval for our panda's head. I'm going to start with my marker, but if you want to do pencil, that's fine too. And you're just going to draw a nice big oval for the head, leaving a little space above so that you can draw the ears. Our eyes are going to be some smaller circles because they have these big patches around them. So I'm going to draw two circles that aren't too big. And then I'm going to draw these kind of egg shapes around them for the patches that a panda has around the eyes. In between the eyes, I'm going to draw an upside down triangle for the nose. I like to make it kind of rounded, so I'll do like a curved line for the top and then a rounded, you know, point on the bottom lines straight up and down and then two smiley mouth curves like that. For the ears you can do two circles or two ovals. And now we're just going to make the um, pupils and the irises and the eyes. So I'm going to do a little curved line up here and a curved line down here. You can do this on both. You could leave the eyes just like this and color them in and that would be cute. But I'm also going to draw a smaller circle inside that goes behind the little shines. And then this middle part will be colored in black. All right, now we're gonna do the body. And on this panda, he's holding this stick of bamboo. So I'm going to start with this arm. And then when we get to this side, we're gonna kind of cut the arm off a little bit to have space for the bamboo. So starting kind of below the eye patch, make a line that curves a little bit and then is round. And then either go straight across or it can curve a little bit too. And I'm gonna stop about here. I'm gonna draw a little bit of the arm and again, stop. And now I'm going to draw a line that's slanted. So straight line that's on an angle like that. And then I'll draw the other side. Okay. The bottom of the stick of bamboo is going to be curved like a smiley mouth. And the top is also curved like a smiley mouth. But then if you draw a little frowny mouth above it, then it looks 3D like you can see inside the stick of bamboo because they're kind of hollow inside. Well, they have water, but you can see inside a bamboo stick. For the leaves, that's two curved lines that go and meet up into a point. I'm going to make three leaves. And then bamboo stalks are segmented, meaning like they're different pieces. So I'm going to do curved line, curved line, curved line like that. All right, and now one thing you might want to think about with your bamboo stick, if it looks like you would see the other side of your panda's hand, you can draw it on the other side. On this one, the hand looks like it'd be behind the bamboo. But I kind of think on this one, I'm gonna draw a little bit of the hands showing because it just seems like it would be. So it depends on yours, whatever you think looks better. Now, kind of going straight down from the head. So straight down, draw a little curved line. The other side straight down, a little curved line. It's going to go behind the bamboo, maybe, depending on where you drew it. And I'm going to draw two ovals that are kind of tilted for the feet. So one, 
And the other one, I have to imagine it kind of would be like here, I guess. And two. And then for the bottom of the body, just draw a little curved line like that. And now we can draw the little paw pads. So there is a big oval for like kind of their palm. And then you can draw three or four little ovals for like the little fingers and toes. On these two, you're going to have to just kind of imagine where these paw pads would be and just kind of draw them behind the stick of bamboo. Okay, and I am all done with my panda, except I forgot one thing. I forgot the little shine I did on the nose, so I'm gonna draw a little curve line there, and now I'm all done. So it's time to color in your panda. And of course, you can do just black and white like the real panda, or you can make it a different color if you want. I'm gonna make this panda purple, and I'm gonna do pink for the paw pads, and then I have two different shades of green for the bamboo. Now on the real panda, it's going to be black and then you can do gray for the feet, but you can really make it any way you want. I'm gonna start by coloring in all the spots that would normally be black by doing this purple. All right, now I'm going to do pink for the nose and the paw pads. And finally, I'm going to use my two different shades of green to make my bamboo stalk. I'm going to use a lighter green first to color the stalk in. And I'm going to do my eyes green. And for my darker green, coloring the inside of the bamboo and underneath the segments and the leaves. All right, and there you have it. They are both all finished. I hope you guys are just creative with yours and make it any way that you want. All right, guys, I hope you had fun drawing your pandas today. If you chose to color yours a different way, I would love to see how you chose to do it. Again, thanks, Nayeli, for the suggestion of the panda. I think that was a really fun one. And I will see you guys tomorrow for our last video of the week. Bye.